I am getting ready to go to my new classroom to set it up. My husband just left in his car with all of my boxes. It's a complete disaster. I don't have any shelves yet and it's giving me anxiety, but I'm going to bring you with me today to see the classroom set up. So follow along with me on this journey and I'll show you the whole process. Um, I'm working at a new school this year. I'll be teaching kindergarten and I'm ready to get it set up. So here we go. Good morning. It's classroom setup day one. I am unpacking all of my boxes today. My husband and I got up here early and just brought all of my boxes upstairs. So we're nice and sweaty. I'm just sipping my coffee before I get started. So I'm looking around the room at all of my boxes, wondering where all of this stuff is going to go. Where do I even start? What layout am I going to do with all these tables? Um, I don't have any shelves yet. I don't have a rug yet. I don't have my easel yet. I don't have my teacher desk yet. So today <laughs> my plan is just to unpack my boxes. I'll show you I have a plan for where everything's going to go in the room. Hopefully it works out. And I'm going to unpack and just put those things in the general area where I want them to go. And that's about all I'll probably have time for today, but I'll take you along with me. Um, it's pretty crazy in here, pretty messy. I'm a little overwhelmed, but it's that feeling that we all get at the beginning of the year where we think, how is this going to get done? And then it always ends up getting done. So here we go. Day one after this. Okay, let's go. Okay, making some progress, but how am I supposed to unpack this guy? He's literally as tall as I am. Like, <laughs> I might just like fall in. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna give it a try. This should be fun. is how this is working. <laughs> I could not reach inside. So I'm currently climbing in this box like a tunnel. <laughs> so <laughs> into the unknown. Good morning. It is day two of classroom setup and I am up here bright and early in the morning. It's eight o'clock and I've been here for a little while. I put together a little bit of what resembles a desk over here and more boxes have appeared in my classroom. So I will be unpacking more boxes. Um, looking a little frazzled already. <laughs> Tip number one for classroom setup. You don't have to look cute. Put on your comfiest work dress. Don't put on any makeup. Put your hair in that messy bun. Bring your coffee and that's all you need. And some heart. <laughs> Um, so today I am going to unpack the rest of my boxes, just keep plugging away, putting things away. Um, it's different whenever you start in a new classroom because then you have to figure out where you're going to put all of your stuff. When, If you stay in the same classroom again, then you can just 
kind of keep your things where you already had them and move around a little bit if you want. But I am starting fresh. I have boxes to unpack and more supplies to put away. And I have put some supplies in my desk. So I have kind of a teacher desk, but anyways, I am taking a coffee break, talking to you and I will um, let you see my progress, but I'm just plugging away day two and it always looks worse before it gets better. So you have to make a giant mess in your classroom before it's beautiful. So right now we're at the really rough, it looks like a hot mess part. So don't worry, it will all get done. Okay, I had to take a break for just a second to show you this. If you haven't used one of these before in your classroom, I suggest it. You can get these at the dollar store, get as many as you want. I just have one, but I hope to get more because the kids love them. So in the middle, I would put dice and sight words. The students pick a sight word and in each other compartment, I have written um, a one, two, three, four, five, six for whatever they roll on the dice and whatever they land in is what they have to do to their sight word. So if they roll a two, they have to use it in a sentence. Then they roll again and it says change it. So they might change the first letter of run to a B and make bun. Or um, if they roll a one, they have to rhyme with it. So they just have to do something different for each number that they roll on the dice with their sight word and it worked really well. They really liked it. It was like a game and so I highly suggest these. Another side note, if you are not using these pre-sharpened pencils, then you're doing life wrong because I have a whole two tubs full of unsharpened pencils. I hate sharpening pencils, so I always go with these pre-sharpened ones. They just come nice and new and sharpened already in the package. So you can just take them out, throw them in your pencil bin, and then you have a nice new bunch of fresh sharp pencils. So stop buying the unsharpened pencils. Good morning, I'm up here at my classroom again. This is day, I can't even keep track anymore. I've been coming up here every day for a few hours. <laughs> so this is day, I don't know, 10 <laughs> that I'm up here in my classroom. And I've been just doing a little bit of time, making some great progress, but I wanted to show you some things that I'm using for organizing my files and a filing cabinet. So I bought these little files. They look like this. They're little file um, organizing tabs. So I'm going to show you how I'm organizing my files with these. They were just super cheap on Amazon. And then I have a filing cabinet in my corner that is a really ugly color. So I'm going to be using some contact paper that I got from Amazon as well to brighten up that ugly filing cabinet. <laughs> So here, of course, I have a pile of files that I need to put away, but here is the ugly filing cabinet that is about to get a makeover. So here we go. It's this filing cabinet's lucky day. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. It's definitely not perfect. There's a few little bubbles in there that are really hard to get out, but for my first try with the contact paper on a filing cabinet, not too bad. So that's the side that really shows. And then over here, I'm working on 
the front, but I kind of ran out of paper, so I'm going to order some more contact paper and then try to tackle the actual drawers. But for now, this is a little bit of an improvement. I'm going to finish that little chunk down there that needs to be um, finished, and then I'll get some more for the drawers later. But from the side, when it push when it's pushed in, it'll look a lot cuter. And it goes with my bulletin boards. So, yay. Goodbye to that ugly filing cabinet. Good morning! Eric and I just got up. We are driving um, with our coffee to go pick up my classroom stage. It's one of the last steps to setting up my classroom, so I thought I'd take you along to enjoy this um, adventure. Would you call it an adventure? <laughs> it's gonna be an adventure. Getting my classroom stage. We built the classroom stage for my room last year and it was a much bigger room so and now I'm on a second floor uh, my room's on the second floor so we're going to meet my assistant principal and try to get the classroom stage up into my room and I'll show you um, hopefully it works and I'll show you what it looks like whenever we get up there okay <laughs> We got it up the stairs, but it needs a lot of TLC. That's what he's here for. classroom is not finished in these videos so if you would like to see the finished product it's almost done and please like this video and subscribe to my channel and then you will see my classroom tour video very soon where I take you through the entire finished classroom and you can see everything that you just witnessed me setting up so thank you for watching see you soon